Okay, um, the the front I have uh, probably like a, a little bit degree angle for the front roller. Actually, I, I insert um, a piece of paper right here uh, on the front plate and to give a little bit more angle because the reason you need a lot of bit, a little bit more angle because um, uh, if you have a lane change or whatever, a slope, you better give a little bit of bigger angle on the front because in this case your car can, when it's running on the track, it can really stick on the, on, on the track. It's because uh, a lot of people, they don't notice about the angle because the angle on the front, if you don't have enough, what are going to happen is like uh, on the lane change, especially on the lane change, uh, there's like a really high chance to fly uh, too off from the truck. Uh, and then right here, the I, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed the uh, stabilizer, the polo right here. And this part actually, it's uh, I cut a part of a um, piece of like carbon fiber popsicle right here, this part right here. And uh, and put on top of right and then the screws up right here and the stabilize right here, and insert a this is like actually is a two millimeter hollow propeller shaft from Super FM. What I do is like I cutting part of it, and right here the top the tips is the uh, AT um, uh, carbon fiber reinforced pinning gear. So I completely cut off the T and the what I do is like uh, I um, um, trim off a little bit right here and make smooth so this this gonna help you especially in a corner it will like uh, it's 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 a preventing um, uh, you because um, on the corner and you know you on the outside of the wall you have a lot of stress so Doing a coring, this part is gonna be actually gonna gonna be like a tail to the left a little bit, and it's gonna touch the wall to just preventing like you flies off. I mean, on the corner on the corner section. So, um, go next. We're gonna talk about it. Um, the the gear. What I'm doing right here. Let me just open it right now. Okay, the gear system right here. It's pretty detailed. I did, um, um, as you can see, the um, the uh, red tube right here. As you, um, I don't know, if you guys can see it. It's uh, it's actually it's the uh, it's also is the uh, AT pinny gear. Actually, I trimmed down and cut off a T and the. And the trim off a little bit and the insert on the axle. In this case, uh, this part right here gonna stabilize the the crown gear right here. And because uh, most of the time people had the problem with crown gear is like uh, the original uh, the gear notch. What are gonna happen is like when the your gear will spin it, and the uh, if you don't stabilize the uh, crown gear, which is black one right here. And what's gonna happen is like this gear gonna travel left and right and it, and it touch the uh, the notch right here. It's gonna create a lot of resistance. And um, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna slow slow you down a, little, a lot, a really a lot. Right here, again, it's pretty smooth right here. The matter that you turn off, um, I mean, flipping uh, which side doesn't really matter. It's pretty. It's quiet actually. And let me put the counter gear right here to show you guys how okay. Let me put on my moto back and we're gonna do a little bit test on the um, gear section okay right here gonna put two battery
Okay. Uh, as you guys can hear, this car, uh, this car is really, really quiet. I mean, you don't, you don't hear anything clicking, and that's how you do the, how you to do the, do the detail for your gear, and in, in, in order to improve the speed. So even I touch the wheel, you can, you, you don't hear nothing clicking. Okay, let me turn off. Okay, for the damper system right here, and. The damper system, which I have right now, it's this is actually um, um, they call it Japanese style because um, um, the as you know it's uh, Japanese people uh, invent this one. I think it's on 2009, and um, they get a uh, finally they. Um, they get a uh, improve uh, mounting the the uh, damper system on the body. So in this case, your your body um, gonna be give you like you know when jumps land, and this body gonna give you a forty uh, a suspension system. Oh, let me show you guys right here. As you can see, it's pretty stable. It's no bounce, nothing. Um, let's see right here detail and um, I take this car to last week and I race on the uh, ultimate hobby and uh, it's pretty good but you know um, but on the, on the final actually um, I I I I fly off the track. Um, um, then I finally found some uh, mistake on my on my um, this um, this car. The first mistake I make, it's uh, it causes fly off. It's right here, the damper system right here. And actually, um, um, I didn't really like um, 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 put a too much crazy glue right here, so it's cause the damper has come off because um, you know after a couple laps your car is keep landing hitting you know this part right here uh, the part I block my damper right here it's come off so it's cost my whole damper is off from my car so on the last uh, lap on my jump actually my car was offset so um, so this time actually I Right here, I am um, using a a, a better uh, a brand new uh, penny gear, and right here and tr as I, s I told you guys uh, previously, I trim off, and I cut the tee off and trim off, and I put a more crazy glue right here, and uh, make it stronger, so to prevent thing is come off again, and for the brake, what I noticed like um, uh, doesn't matter what kind of brake you have. And most people they're using this type of uh, uh, a bundle pack. It's come from a bundle pack uh, a brake. Um, it's come with like a three pieces and different type of brake. And uh, the problem with this brake, um, I noticed was like um, uh, most of the time when you keep like racing, 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 like a couple lap or even like like most likely happen like uh, when you race like probably like more than like ten laps. What happens like uh, um, if the truck have a lot of dust? Oh, those dust are gonna be uh, stick on those brake. These two brake right here is what cause those two brake is no long, no longer walking anymore. Cause, uh, cause you have so many dust on it, it's getting slippy right now. So, um, after a couple laps, your um, car is um, it's catch on speed, and this brake is no longer working anymore. I mean, that's gonna cost me. That's cost me on the final. Um, on the uh, ultimate race, what happens like uh, on the last lap, and you know, my car, it's like uh, it's done really like uh, as you, I, I'm gonna show you a little bit of video later, and you know, what happened to my car is like one um, one side of a damper off, plus you will notice my brake was no longer works, 
it won't really like uh, can like uh, slow me down on the on the jump section. So uh, anyway, um, uh, hope this car gonna do better in the next race, and I'm gonna keep like a uh, probably fixing. Um, um, see which part I have to get improve it, and uh, most likely I gonna uh, what I gonna do next? Just probably gonna replace these two brake right here. Probably put a, a rubber um, brake instead of, instead of uh, a sponge. So in this case, you know, it doesn't matter like how many laps. So those, um, those like a slipping problems now gonna be no longer like cause me headache. Okay, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like my YouTube channel, just sub subscribe my channel, and I'm gonna keep posting um, to share a type of my tech what I know.